Frankly Franklin. I have as my guest on this portion of our program one of our hidden treasures here in Franklin. Uh, my guest is Mr. Robert Phillips. He has been working as a professional musician for, I guess, 40 years now. And I don't know that everyone in Franklin necessarily knows that, but uh, that situation is uh, being changed slowly at any rate. Uh, let me tell you a story, Mr. Phillips. I was talking to a fellow in the courthouse. He said, uh, I was watching TV the other night, and I think he's watching KET, and they were doing a program that had been taped in Frankfurt, and the governor was there, and there was his band playing. And he kind of looked at the screen, he says, that guy playing the saxophone looks familiar. I wonder who that could be. And then the camera kind of zoomed in, got a close-up, and it was you, of course. And he said, well, I know that guy. He lives in Franklin. <laughs> That's Robert Phillips. He said, I didn't know that he, that he did that, that he, that he uh, played. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, he's been doing that for, for some little uh, while now. He said, well, you need to have him on your program. Talk about that. So I told him I would do that. But uh, you've been on TV uh, last month, had a big write-up in the Courier Journal. So uh, how does it feel to finally be recognized after all these years? Well, it, it's nice. Uh, I, uh, well, I don't really know exactly what uh, anything, you know, anything will come of it, but still it's nice to be recognized, I guess. Right, doesn't put but money in the bag. <laughs> no, <laughs> it is anything you do, I guess. All right. Well, now, in this program that had been taped, the, um, the governor was in the audience, Governor Patton, but I don't believe he's the first governor you've played in front of, is he? Uh, no. Uh, do I you recall played, who the others were? Or? Uh, the one uh, before him. Uh, governor Jones, I guess, Jones was right in front of him, yeah. I guess the very first one was uh, John White Brown. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's been a while. That yeah, was yeah. back in the early 80s that he yeah, was. Yeah, we played in Freedom Hall upstairs in the uh, ballroom uh -huh. for his uh, some kind of political dance. Function, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now, I know that the uh, Kentucky folklorist, uh, Bob Gates, has had you on the Kentucky Folk Tour, Folk Musicians. Mm -hmm. How long have you been on that, and did you go to them, or did they come find you, or how did that come to be? Somebody called me. Uh, yeah. We've been playing around here and there. Well, I had. I, I used to play up at the uh, UK and at uh, uh, Kentucky State College uh, when they had the other band. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody called me and asked me would I want to uh, play some of their uh, uh, acts or whatever you call it. Uh, right. Some of that. Yeah. That's the, and I think that's the Kentucky Arts Council right. and mm -hmm. the State right. Folklore Society. And yeah, they have them all over the state. Yeah. Do you uh, get very many bookings from we, that? Yes, we, we could get all of them. We could make them, but some of them we could make. They're so far away. You know, they have them all across the state during the summer. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard to pile in the car and drive to Pikeville <laughs> or somewhere. Well, and then, then most of some of the guys are working, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, now, you mentioned the other band. Are you talking about the House Rockers? Yeah. Uh -huh. we All have, right. I yeah. think that's something a lot of people here might, if they grew up yeah. about the time I did mm -hmm. a little earlier, might have yeah. known. Now that mm -hmm. how, that band, what late fifties yeah. uh, through the sixties, is uh, that about the right? Yeah. Well, really, through the, I guess we just banded in uh, uh, seventy nine or eighty, I guess. Okay. And then I had another band called Push, uh -huh. uh, and uh, we played on up until. Uh, uh, 89, and that's when I had to go in the hospital uh, with this uh, swelling. That's when it started. Mm -hmm. 89, and uh, we disbanded. Of course, I guess they wanted a long rest. So then, uh, when I got able again, I, I, d I got this band, put it together called the Fender Benders, mm -hmm. and uh, went to there. Well, now back it wasn't this Christmas, but Christmas before last, we taped the thing that you played over at the Methodist Church on the square. Yeah. Now that wasn't the Fender Benders, so have you got no, another no. group that you play with yeah, also? Yeah, that, uh, that group and the group that you saw uh, playing for the governor thing, uh, we do that kind of stuff because uh, the Fender Benders, uh, they strictly had rhythm and blues, mm -hmm. and uh, in those other things you got to play three or four different kinds of music, you know, know the old standards and all that kind right, of stuff. Right, right, yeah. a little softer sound, right, a little yeah. floor, and yeah. yeah. You, you can do it all, then, yeah, depending yeah. on what the, uh, yeah, right. what the audience wants to, yeah. Well, uh, I know that at least one of the Fender Benders, the vocalist, mm -hmm. was also with you in the House Rockers. 
Yeah, he started. I came out of high school. He started singing with me. Yeah, he Willie Smith. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Do singing. you all you all go way back? If you all yeah, know. yeah, yeah, he's been way back. Yeah, yeah, he came out of high school and started singing uh, with the band. Okay. With the house rock. Are you all close to the same age or? Uh, no, I'm quite a bit older than here. Are you? Yes, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Of course, you got kind of an early start, didn't you? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, um, how did you come to pick the saxophone as your instrument? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd been playing baseball, and I broke my ankle, and uh, so I was laying around with a cast on my ankle. And my brother-in-law had gotten a saxophone out of the pawn shop and a book, and he had been trying to learn, and, and uh, he was making all kind of noises. <laughs> and every, everybody was getting on him to put that thing down. And <laughs> Give us some relief. <laughs> so he, he, one day he told me, yeah, hey, you can have the thing. Yeah, okay. And I started messing with it. And uh, uh, first I played by sound. And uh, then I took the book to find out what this note was and what that note was. And mm -hmm. which one one to the other. So That's you're right. strictly self-taught yes. then? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And do you still pretty much play by ear? Or? No, no. I taught myself to read. Okay. I don't do much sight reading, but what I do, I read it and memorize it. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you, uh, um, now you went to high school at Lincoln, Lincoln right. High, right? Yeah. Were you in the Lincoln Band, or had you no, had any no, kind of musical? No, no. I you were just a sports guy, and yeah. really, yeah. until the baseball, till that yeah. injury, hadn't really thought about music. No. As a, uh -huh. As a as a career, uh, yeah. Well, once you got into it, then uh, and you you taught yourself to play, and then you started getting bookings pretty much around in like Franklin and Bowling Green and mm -hmm. sort of yeah, around in this around area. Down this area uh -huh. Yeah, would you all like play weekend parties and clubs well, and stuff? Well, yeah, or? yeah, that's what we did. Uh, Thursdays, well, not too many Thursdays, but Friday, Saturdays, and uh, then we got a job at Fort Campbell playing every Sunday. Play over there for about three years every Sunday. Then we went to uh, Fort Knox and played Saturday and Sunday for about two or three years. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kind of got everybody there and got home. Did you make fairly good money at it? Yeah, it was pretty good money. Now, I was the only guy in the band that was working, so they they had money enough, you know, to do what they mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. they were supposed to do. But now all this time you had a day job at Kendall, yes, right? Yes. Yes. Right? I don't get where I went. I <laughs> I had to be back there at seven o'clock. And that, uh, that turned out to be pretty tough. Well, now, a lot of these places, you know, they'll go 2 or 3 a.m., so. That's right. Doesn't mm -hmm. sound like to me you got a whole lot of sleep. <laughs> no, sometimes I had to, we were pulling a trail, and sometimes I had to pull that old trail on out there and just run on into work. Is know? that right? Just yeah. let you out and yeah. go straight in and well, punch no, in? Well, no, I traveled. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Well, I, I, I bet when you got a chance to catch up on some sleep, you were, yeah, were, it was, uh -huh. were glad of it. Yeah. Well, now, a lot of these places that you played, did some of them, were they kind of on the circuit? Would some of the name bands come in? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I think yeah. I've read, didn't you sit mm -hmm. in and back well, up some people that are kind of big way, names? In the, the way that started was that uh, the thing that's Bale Tire Company now on the bypass. Mm -hmm. Right I down there in that Quonset? Yeah, it used yeah. to be the Quonset Club. Okay. And these guys that were uh, booking, they would get the uh, big time stars and uh, have them just come in with two or three of their pieces of the band, right? And he'd get me and three or four more to fill out the rest of the band. It was cheaper, right. you know. Right. So that's how we that's how we got played around. It. And we played around in the circle there. It was uh, Franklin, Hopkinsville, uh, Madisonville, and sometimes Nashville, Clarksville, and that and that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Would you get to rehearse with them much before you went on, or just uh, no? Out there and pretty much. Uh, if they had. Uh, their records, uh, if they had put out a record, uh, they would send us a copy, and we would listen to the record, and uh, we just tried to be sure we played their number one hit. Right, right, so, so yeah, you could cover try it. To play it so play. you'd have some notice yeah. before mm -hmm. they came to town that right. they were coming, and an advance man or somebody had, had made right. arrangements for you all to, to sit in and listen. That's right. Yeah, well, uh, some of the, I guess it was that story in the Career Journal or somewhere, I read you played with B.B. King, uh, yeah, James was, Brown. What, uh, what can you tell me about those guys? <laughs> that was all in the early days uh, when, when they were on the way up. Uh, yeah. And, uh, well, I had job offers from just about everybody I played with. I, I really can't uh, kick. Were you tempted? 
Well, yes, get I on was the bus thinking, and go. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, several times all I had to do was get my clothes and get on the bus. Yeah, yeah. But I had just got married and we had one or two kids then and uh, didn't have much money. So uh, the band business, uh, I'd been in enough to know how it was. You, you're up for just a couple of weeks and you're down and you may, yeah. for six weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I turned them down on, on, on that account, yeah. uh, putting the family first. Did uh, you ever get to make any recordings with anybody? Uh, no, I, uh, we were in the studio, oh, two, three, four times, and, uh, we didn't do any good because they said I played too smooth and, uh, uh, it, it wouldn't get people's attention. They wanted more of the, uh, uh I don't know what kind of, you know, the screech, screeches and the, yeah, yeah. and the off-tones on the sax and the, yeah. Uh, and I, I've never liked that myself. I, so I worked on trying to play smooth, and I didn't want to change. Right. So uh, we didn't we didn't do it. Well, do you do you like do you consider yourself a jazz saxophonist as much as or more than an R and B? Well, I, I don't get to play much jazz unless I'm in a city somewhere, and uh, most of the guys around these areas uh, they don't play too much jazz. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to play a little jazz now. I got a little group. Uh, with all sorts of trio, uh, drums, organ, saxophone, and uh, now is that the group that was at the church? No, no, that's, uh, that's, that's a different. This, this, uh, yeah, this okay. is started this year again. We we used to play together together about twenty years ago, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, we play we are playing jazz and uh, some good jazz too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm the baby, I, cause I, they all they, all they play jazz all their lives. And, Right. I played rhythm and blues all my life, right. so right. I've got to make the change. Yeah. Well, now, didn't uh, the House Rockers? You all, when you all do some top forty and some oh yeah Motown yeah. and right. kind of yeah. kind of uh -huh. cover stuff that was yeah. on the charts. That yeah, we did. That's what we played. I, I guess every local uh -huh. band uh -huh. does that. Yeah. Well, now I think it was Bob Gates or somebody told a story, and I'm going to ask you if this is true, mm -hmm. that you almost backed up Ray Charles, and at the last minute his band showed up. Or something. Oh yeah. Uh, Can you tell that story? Uh, uh, he was supposed to be in Bowling Green at the concert. Okay, and that's right there by the bridge yeah, where right. you go over the... So, uh, his, uh, they traveled in a three-door, one of those long three-door cars, mm -hmm. and it broke down with the rest of the group. I guess he was in his own, uh, you know, right. riding by himself. Right. So it broke down, and they called, didn't know when they was going to get it fixed, so uh, this guy that was booking was named Upton Roundtree. So he called me and said he's going to try to get hold of some of the other guys. And for us to get up there, oh, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, we rehearsed about two hours, I guess. And he was satisfied. He said, oh, yeah, we're going to be all right. <laughs> yeah. Because I played, uh, I played all the lead note for note yeah. you know, off the record, you know. Right. So, right. yeah, so it wasn't that But good. you only had just a few hours notice, yeah. right? Uh, right. But we were already playing. We but but you were playing. doing some of, yeah, his, uh, stuff anyway. some of his stuff, yeah. yeah. Do you remember what, what were some of the songs that were in the set? I mean, I think uh, a lot of people would recognize some Ray Charles stuff. Uh, well, let's see. What was he doing then? Uh, I'm a fool for you. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah, I love her so. Uh, uh, I got a woman way across town, uh, and that, uh, oh, baby, don't you treat me wrong? Uh, that, mm -hmm. I can't think mm -hmm. of the name of it, but that was yeah. <laughs> uh, But anyway, it was uh, stuff like that he was doing back then. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You know, he got to where he would cross over and do some country yeah, stuff. No, I, I, I didn't get to play with him when he was doing <laughs> the country. Doing, uh, doing that. Uh -huh. Well, now, James Brown, what about James Brown? Was he the hardest working man in show business when yeah, you saw him? Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, I didn't like him because he was, to me, he was just kind of nasty, you know. He yeah. uh, had a nasty attitude, I thought. Uh, maybe because I was, you know, I hadn't been in a too much or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, well, I mean, that was kind of what was selling, though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, uh, I, I mean, mean, he was, know, well, he was. Funk and all that. Well, I'm talking about before he went on stage. He, oh, yeah, oh, he'd oh. give you a big uh, uh, going over about be sure and playing this and that and this and that. And, you know, yeah, you won't get yeah. no money. You won't. You know, mm -hmm. so but, uh, yeah. <laughs> he was the only one I would play with that did that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, but did, uh, um, did you ever, um, you started in, in the 50s, right? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well, mm -hmm. as far as uh, rhythm and blues, per se, I, I kind of I like to listen to Delta blues and some of those people. I don't know if does because you don't think a horn so much with that. But no, uh -uh. what 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 kind of music did you listen to as a young man, and what kind of uh, well, I listen, I've always listened to all kinds of music. Yeah, I listened to jazz even back then, uh, Dizzy Gillespie and all those guys, uh, and Miles Davis. And the, yeah, I listened to those guys uh, from all these years. I've been listening to them, you know, until they died. And uh, Bird, and I used to listen to him. Parker, you talking? Uh, yeah, uh, Charlie, yeah okay. Charlie, Charlie Parker. Uh huh. Yeah, man. But I've always listened to all kinds. Little Opera, I listen to the Opera. Is that right? But yeah. Any music, uh, I don't like the extremes to any of it. Yeah, uh, yeah. No. Some of these rhythm and blues guys, uh, they get way too far out there for me for me to enjoy it. You know? mm -hmm. uh, uh, I just don't like the extremes. What do you, you know, I, I guess uh, with uh, when the 60s, late 60s, when all that hit, you had a lot of white guys that made a lot of money yeah. covering stuff that right. black artists had That's done. Right. Right. Do, you, right. do you resent that at all? Or? Uh, not as much as, uh, well, see, they had the uh, upper hand. Uh, the people that took them in uh, had the money to uh, make it and distribute. They had the money to do it all. Right. See, and the black guys that were trying to do it, they, they were limited, you know, mm -hmm. money-wise, and uh, they couldn't get the coverage. Right. So uh, the only thing that uh, I think it did was make the black guys' record better, better known, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with the white. When the wider audience right, yeah, yeah, can, yeah, right, right. Yeah, right. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. But that's about what it did, I thought. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, so much of uh, rock music, you know, is put R&B and country together and, mm -hmm. right. and all of that. Um, you mentioned that you had played baseball. Mm -hmm. Now, you, if, I, if the information I've read is right, you actually started pretty young, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I went to like 14 or something? Yeah, how, I live home. How does a 14-year-old guy get to be playing well, professional I, baseball? <laughs> we're playing, uh, I was playing here with the team in Franklin. Yeah. And uh, I was pitching then, and I threw, well, I had a good fastball. I was around 93, 94. Oh, not bad. And, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got to pitch pretty often, and uh, then we would play these traveling teams over in Scottsville. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, House of Davidson, uh, uh, the Cannibal Giants, uh, I don't know, I had four or five traveling teams sometimes. Right, right. And we would get uh, guys from Bowling Green, Franklin, Russell, the young old player. And uh, now this would have been in the 1940s. Yeah, right. Okay. So I, I was pitched again, and I struck out 22. You uh, struck out 22 batters out yeah. of out of 27. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah. I don't think Sandy Koufax <laughs> did that. <laughs> so anyway, anyway uh, uh, the guy and the bus pulled up in front of my house there three or four days later, and uh, was wanting me to go with him on the road. Well, my father said I was. Uh, too young, he thought, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, so they left and went on. But then they came back, I don't know, back to from wherever they'd been. They stopped again. So he told me, my father, you give him, uh, I think, $100, 150 a month. And was paying me, too, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I guess I'd gotten old ago. My father let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Got $150 older, hadn't you? <laughs> that wasn't bad money in the 40s. No, no it wasn't. Uh, Why would you just play in the summer and come back and go yeah, back to school? Yeah, I, I probably couldn't do that now because uh, when I got back to school, it'd be late. September would be just about gone. Yeah. And I'd have to take a test uh, to catch up, mm -hmm. uh, even before I could get on the basketball. And, so you stayed on until the season was over and yeah, then yeah, and came yeah, in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, um, if you were doing that, I would imagine, now this was like an exhibition team yeah, right, that would, right, would right. kind of, mm -hmm. they, they weren't part of a, a, no, a no, real no, league, no, or that, but, but, league, but no. these were older guys, yeah, right? right? And you're yeah. like 14, 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes older guys sometimes will play some pranks on <laughs> The younger man did uh, give him, you know, the new guy gets a little, a little kidding and some yeah, practical yeah. jokes. Did anything like that happen to you? I got a lot of, 
That's the, as uh, stated in the uh, Courier Journal thing about the paid this naked woman to get in my bed. Hey, yeah. naked, naked woman. <laughs> I think you need to tell that story. You want to go? <laughs> well, well see, I would always, uh, after the game, I would always go up to the nightclub to listen to bands or whatever for a while. Right. And we had a curfew. So I would try to beat the curfew, you know, uh, getting in. These guys, you, when I come in, I could see them sitting down in the lobby with a paper over their face, you know, and the manager, he'd be there checking on everybody. So mm -hmm. They're trying to pretend they've been there all this time, you know. But, <laughs> Just sitting there reading, <laughs> yeah. you know. Okay. So, so anyway, I went on up to the room and uh, opened the door, and, and I looked in there, and it was a small room. Saw this woman laying there with clothes on. So uh, I backed up and uh, looked at the door, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Make sure you had the right room. <laughs> yeah, and I, I could hear him laughing in. I thought I could hear him laughing in. But, and, but anyway, I said, I went in there and, and I said, I told her, I said, the lady, I believe you're in the wrong bed. <laughs> and old boy, <laughs> she, said, she said, well, let's just look what you, what you can get for 50. I said, $50. <laughs> <I'll, I'll. laughs> oh, boy, they came out there. They love the bed in the closet. <laughs> they can hold it along, you know. I bet <laughs> that gave you some stories to tell when you got back to Lincoln High School. Yeah, yeah. yeah but they, they, made a, oh, they made a mess out of it on the bus, you know. Boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they told it all kind of way. <laughs> well, now, you played professional ball in the Negro Leagues, too. Were yeah, you, I guess yeah. you were a little older. Were you out yeah. of school by that time? Or? Yeah, I went to uh, Birmingham Black Bears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, th was this before Jackie Robinson and they integrated, or was he playing uh, in the majors? Or I think Jackie was already in Montreal. Uh, Willie had just Willie Mays. He was with Birmingham, and he had just been signed uh, to go, but he came and took spring training again with a who left. So you played some with Willie yeah, Mays yeah, we, uh, on the the Birmingham uh, Barons. So we got to be. Some kind of friends, I guess. Is that right? Yeah. yeah uh, well, we get out in the outfield there, and uh, I could out throw him. Uh, he threw his balls up in the air a little bit, and I threw mine on line, mm -hmm. uh, and I could out run him. But he could he hit his balls in the air, and I, mine always hit the top of the wall. I'd land grass. Yeah, yeah. But uh, well, now yeah, you know, uh, he was famous for that catch. Yeah. That he was he doing that back then? Or? No, no. How did, did he? Uh, that's where I caught my ball. Oh, is that right? Then? Yeah. So he told me, he said, you, you never turn around when the ball is? I said, no. I said, if you run up against the wall, <laughs> the ball's going to hit the wall, you got to chase it down. Yeah. yeah. And I said, I usually, uh, I try to judge it in the end, just catch it, you know, right here. Right. right. And it's on the run. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. now, well, you're back yeah. to the yeah. home plate. Yeah. So uh, anyway. So did he copy that? From yeah. You, right? I've, I've always thought he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got a lot of good publicity for it. So. Yeah. Uh, well, now you uh, you played in uh, minors before you got hurt, yeah. didn't you? Uh -huh. Were you yeah. uh -huh. giant? I got sandwich. I think okay. he put in a good word for me. Willie okay, because he he got went yeah. over or got yeah. called up. He went to Milwaukee. Time. That was AAA at that time. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think he put in, and that's why I was supposed to go to Milwaukee, but then uh, I didn't go the first time. I don't know, was due to money or whatever. I get things straight now, but then they told me to go to uh, uh, where, Scranton, New York, I believe. That was uh, Class C. Pennsylvania, maybe? No, Scranton? New York. Okay. Yeah, I believe it was, uh, Scranton, was Scranton, New York, or Scranton. Anyway, in that league up there, that, right. uh, well, St. John's and all those. Uh, uh, now, was that Triple A? No, that was C. C, okay. C, uh huh. Okay. And uh, I was hitting the ball so hard, and all they had up there, most of it was. High school kids, they had signed, you know. Mm -hmm. And I didn't used to uh, back when you were grown men, you know, and I was right, the ball right. pretty hard. And uh, so uh, one, uh, I was supposed to bunt one time, and this guy, first baseman, said him going back, he stayed, you know, about four minutes that stand over in front of that wrist. Yeah, you know. okay. Uh, and so uh, they threw me in that inside pitch, and I'd hit that thing. He went in his shirt in front and came out the back. <laughs> it <was a> travel. <laughs> it did. I don't Didn't go did. straight through it, did it? <laughs> uh, anyway, I got a double out of it, but they carried him to the hospital. I, I got But anyway, it wasn't long before they sent me up to uh, Class A. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, 
I was supposed to go to Denver and AAA. I broke my ankle the next year. Broke my ankle last week of the season. Oh, heck. Mm-hmm. Were you chasing the ball yeah, in the outfield? Yeah, I was playing in Canada and uh, one of those uh, teams in that league. And they had no, didn't have a fence. They had lights out there. Mm-hmm. And some guy hit one over the lights, and I was pretty fast. I, was, I could run 10 seconds, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, they told me to let it go. I heard them done let it go, but I told me I got it. And I told it the same way, you know, but right, I stepped in right. a hole. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I fractured my ankle in two places. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, that was, you said that was the last week of the season. Did yeah. you think about trying to go back the next year? Or? Yeah, I wanted to go, but uh, every time I had to work out real hard playing basketball, I usually just try to get in shape. Uh, that ankle just swelled out. Hmm. And I'd been through several bad situations, and, and I figured, well, I was out playing everybody just about it, uh, and that didn't seem to be good enough for some of those managers, you know. Or well, what it was, I was just a headache, you know, to those mm-hmm. guys. So, uh, I had to have a special room, you know. They had still, give me, everything's still segregated. Yeah, they'd point. give me money. If we went to a town and played four days, they'd, they'd give me enough money to, to get, go down in the black section, get a room, and cabs and meals. Well, was this uh, still in the 40s? Because yeah, Jackie Robinson came to the majors like 48, something like mm-hmm. that. And uh, yeah, Willie this, Mays this is, about uh, 51. This, yeah, this is right after that. Okay, right so there, there were a few yeah. black yeah. players in the major leagues, but not many, mm-hmm. and, and the hotels and the restaurants were all yeah. still segregated. Yeah, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So uh, they, uh, well, I did That, that had to be I tough mind. to put up with yeah, every well, day, you know. I didn't mind it because I always had money. Yeah. Uh, these people that, that the cab drivers would take me to, uh, they might charge eight dollars or ten dollars. Right. I mean, he'd, he'd give me a hundred, you know. And so I, I always had money. I didn't well, bother that, to do that yeah. merch. Yeah. But, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, of course, I guess you probably got some harassment from some of the fans back in that. Oh yeah, time. yeah. I, uh, that was one of the things that really bothered me. Your own fans would. You know, I hit home runs, several. And when you come across some of your own fans, it was throw Coca Cola bottles and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that really, uh, that kind of bothered me. I guess it was several years before all that kind yeah, of came yeah. past. Well, did you, were you such a good hitter that they wanted you in the outfield and, and, and at bat that you didn't pitch, or did you? Well, you yeah, wrote? my pitching finally diminished. The only time they wanted me to pitch was to come in and pitch when the bases were loaded. <laughs> and, and, you know, he, well, this manager, like I, yeah. I thought, you know, he was putting me into every tough situation huh, yeah. uh, to give me a bad grade, you know. You know, but I, I came through. Bases loaded, like, nobody out, yeah, bring in yeah, Phillips. Right, and, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. and I would get him out, you know, most of the time. Yeah. And, uh, and he rang with the bat, uh, the bases loaded to hit. And, you know, and I didn't get any batting practice, and uh, I hadn't had any warm-ups when I was pitching. I had to come out of the outfield. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, I got I, Well, tell me the story. Somebody told me that, that you hit a home run that wound up in church. Now, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, 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 I, I've heard I of hitting out of the park, but I'm not sure hitting, <laughs> hitting the ball to church. I don't know. This, what. Is, <laughs> this is in one of those little towns in New York. I've forgotten which one it was. They had a church uh, uh, over the right center field, uh, sitting across the street there. Yeah. And uh, so I hit this ball, and uh, it bounced. I don't want to bounce in the street on the sidewalk, but they had the front doors open, and, and you could see it going. It went in the front door. In the church. open door. Was, yeah. Were they having service in there? Or? Yeah. It was, yeah it was <laughs> and here comes this ball back. Sunday game. Yeah, it was Sunday game. Yeah, Sunday game. Yeah. Oh, I guess you got the ball back, did you? No, no. <laughs> Somebody, some people come over and want to know who hit it, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, that, and that was in the newspaper. I should have kept that, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's a shame you got that's hurt. That's the only time I, it had been done. But you might never have done the music, if, yeah, you, you know. So exactly. I guess you never know. You're right. You're talking about, you know, kind of tough situations with the, those fans being hard on you and all mm-hmm. that. But if you're a musician playing clubs, some of those places can get pretty yeah, rough. Do you right. ever get right. stuff thrown at you or get shot at or anything no, like that? I, uh, or have to play behind the chicken wire <laughs> or any of that? No, I've had never had anything thrown at me, but... They called us the fastest band in in the, wherever we were because as soon as uh, we saw this pistol coming out, 
Uh, we, we left that stage. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to get you to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you ever have any close calls or you ever have anybody shot or anything right right in front of you while you were? No, we didn't have nobody shot in front of us. It like I read something about yeah. you went into a place and there was a body yeah. on the stage or something. Yeah, that was what? down in Spring Hill, Tennessee, somewhere close to Spring Hill, Tennessee. What, what had happened there? Uh, they'd been gambling and uh, yeah. got into it. And, the guy shot this guy, and he fell back on the stage. Uh, this was, I don't know if you saw the movie, uh, Walking Tall. Yeah, Buford uh, Tucker, yeah. Yeah, where this guy's leading his car in with the lantern. Mm, uh-huh. Yeah, that's the same club. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> and and uh, he led us in the same way. Mm. So when we got inside, uh, uh, there's this guy laying on the stage, so this uh, the manager, or the owner, who, he told us to load put our equipment over to the side there and so the undertaker was on his way. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you had to wait till they got the corpse off the stage before you could set up. Yeah, I told him maybe put that stuff back in the truck. <laughs> I told him, How'd you I, leave that place? I didn't think we were gonna play, but but he tossed it in the play. Yeah. Well, uh mm -hmm. don't quite see that as much now in no, the places no, that you no, play, but no. now you how many how many week you still play most weekends or? Yeah, yeah. I'm still yeah. Play. Now, you mind if I ask how old you are? Uh, I'll be 71 in June. 71, but uh -huh. any plans to retire? Are going to keep on going as long as you can get there? Or? Well, I want to, uh, I like to put out some kind of something uh, if I get an opportunity. Uh, I thought maybe my he's right up and saying it might help a little bit, but uh, it's... Get in and do some retiring. recording and have Yeah, 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 that'd be about yeah. it, yeah. What would, you, what would you put on if, you, if they said, okay, Robert, you can put 12 songs on an mm -hmm. album. What, mm -hmm. what, what do you think you would pick? Well, I, I, I put a mixture. I, I'd probably open up with some jazz and then uh, some blues and then uh, a couple of standards, uh, uh, one or two country songs that I, uh, I like pretty well. Yeah, it, it'd be kind of a mixture. Who would you use? Would you get Willie as your vocalist, or would you get you a lady singer? Or well, you? Yeah, well, Willie might. Uh, 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 Willie might do pretty well, uh, but I hadn't uh, really thought about who I would get. I might get both. I might get a you know, a mm -hmm. male and a female. Would you want to use session musicians, or use the Fender Benders and the people in the trio? Or uh, I think I'd have to pick a mixture out of the. Uh, three bands I've been messing with there. I just try to pick the guys that uh, try to play. You always have some people that don't want to play nothing but this and nothing but mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So uh, you couldn't probably use those, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, have you got anything coming up in the next few weeks anywhere close that anybody could uh, catch your act, either with the trio no, or the No, I don't have, anything, or? don't have anything. The closest thing I have is we, uh, this jazz group, we play in Burksville, Kentucky. March the 7th, uh, they have an art craft thing over there, and, mm -hmm. and uh, they want to meet. We played up at Freedom Hall about three weeks ago. Is that right? For an arts and craft thing. And have a pretty good crowd? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a nice crowd. Oh, good. And uh, so these people wanted to come over there and play for theirs, and uh, that's about the closest thing I've got, I guess. Well, I'm glad to know that you're keeping on keeping on, and. I hope you are able to make that record before you have to, to hang it up, but it's certainly been, uh, sounds like to me, a pretty interesting ride so far. I mean, uh, how many people can say they taught Willie Mays his catch and also <laughs> almost backed up Ray Charles and Ray said it was all right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think that's, uh, I'd be pretty satisfied <laughs> with that. Right. <laughs> well, best of luck to you, and thanks for coming in and visiting. And, Say hello to Miss Rosie for me. I will. And take care of yourself. All right. Thank you. We'll for have having you me. back. All, All right. right. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, folks, for joining us today. A real interesting chat with Robert Phillips, tenor saxophonist, right here in Franklin. Stay tuned.